Education is Australia's largest services export, worth $16.3 billion. Of the almost 590,000 international students attending schools, universities, TAFE institutes and private colleges across Australia, over 190,000 are from China, Japan and Korea. The free trade agreements with these three countries recognise the importance of students from North Asia. They provide guaranteed market access for Australian education providers, including vocational and technical education, paving the way for future jobs growth in this burgeoning sector. The Australian Council for Private Education and Training is preparing its members to make the most of the opportunities under the free trade agreements. My name is Rod Cam. I'm the Chief Executive of the Australian Council for Private Education and Training. ACPAT's the peak industry organisation that represents private and independent training organisations in Australia. We represent the best of the organisations, everything from vocational education and training to international colleges and higher education. The free trade agreements are an incredibly important step forward for Australia, not only as an economy but in education. So we certainly see that they pave the way for closer relationships with those, those countries. It means uh, education is recognised as an important industry and for students from those countries they can see both governments, both Australia and their respective country, recognises Australian educators as quality in the world. Thanks to the free trade agreements, Australian education providers now have guaranteed market access to the higher education services sector in Japan and Korea, including vocational and technical education. Japan, under the auspices of the free trade agreement, is now looking at not only higher education and universities, which the Japanese uh, specialise in, but they're looking at developing industry-relevant vocational education and training skills. A great opportunity for colleges at the higher end of the quality benchmark. Under the China Agreement, Australia receives most favoured nation treatment on education. This means China will extend to Australia any more beneficial treatment it provides to other trade partners in the future, which ensures the competitive position of our suppliers in our largest education market. Within a year of the China Agreement entering into force, China will add 77 Australian private higher education institutions to an official Ministry of Education website. This improves their profile with prospective Chinese students and employers, giving them greater access to China's higher education market. That's very important because Chinese students look for recognition from governments in selecting the organisations that they'd like to study for. Now that's a tremendous opportunity for our higher education providers, our, our private non-university higher education providers, but we do hope that those types of opportunities ultimately extend to vocational education and training as well. Melbourne-based Academia International provides 26 vocational education and training courses and English language training. It sees a world of opportunity opening up thanks to the powerful trifecta of Asian agreements. Of the uh, international students, Asia and North Asia in particular has been really our sweet spot. I would say probably just over 55% are from Asia, North Asia. The recent free trade agreements that we've been able to, or the government has been able to establish with our, our major neighbouring countries, I think is a tremendous enabler uh, for uh, education providers as a whole. We see uh, tremendous potential for growth in student numbers, but not just one way, we see this bi-directional. There's tremendous opportunity now for uh, private and public providers uh, to establish offshore uh, for long-term partnerships and relationships. A great opportunity to continue to grow. Australia wants measured growth, not rapid growth. We want measured growth with the right students so we can continue to deliver quality educational opportunities. That's the opportunity. But the other opportunity is to form closer relationships with our trading partners. Japan, Korea, China, all very, very important in terms of friendships and education is a key component of that.